Greetings, my friends. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this is fucking hard for me. I've never done anything like this before. To all of you out there who've been rolling with me, you know that my content is like, I'm rapping or I'm just exploiting the uh, comedic brilliance of my children. I don't do shit like this. Um, as you, I'm sure you can tell, something weird has happened. I think the last thing I want with this is it to be, you know, an eye rolly moment or to come off as a look at me. You know, this is uh, fishing for sympathy. Uh, it's, it's not at all that. And I hope it doesn't come off like that. I'll just get right to it. The other day it was my daughter's ninth birthday. My wife and I decided to take her, her sisters and her cousin up to a place called Alora Gorge. It's this beautiful beach area. So we got to the beach around three o'clock. They were calling for rain, potential storms, and uh, it's fucking crazy for me to even say that these words out loud, but at around 5.30, 5.45, I noticed members of the families around us looking at their phones, and I heard someone utter the word tornado. I don't know, I haven't been, I haven't experienced many tornadoes in my life, so I didn't think much of it. And I went and checked my cell phone, and sure enough, I got the same alert. My wife was at the water, with my daughters and I told her, I said, I think maybe we should make a move. You know, it's around that time to leave anyways. So she comes up and we start packing our stuff. I looked up and the sky was completely black, totally out of a movie. You know, it, it was like nuts. My wife and I kind of looked at each other like, let's pick this up. And all the other families were too. We get everything packed up and we start making a move up this path, which is maybe like 400 feet or no, 200, I don't know. I don't know if he, I'm now all of a sudden I'm a fucking distance expert. <laughs> it's, a, it's a decent walk. Uh, this pathway up to the parking area. And the rain hit like, like shit went zero to a hundred. Like someone turned it, the tap on and it's, and, and, and it got scary. Lightning, thunder. My daughter who just turned nine and her cousin who's 10, they freak out. And I'm trying to keep everyone calm. I'm trying to be like, you know, an army fucking general. Like, nothing's gonna happen. It's not the Wizard of Oz. And my daughter is so scared, rightfully so. We're all scared, but my only goal was to get everybody to the van. But it, it, and everything just started to pick up and get darker and scarier. And I was getting scared, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm, uh, my job is to get the family to safety. They were ahead of me. It, it, I can't even articulate the scene. All I can say is it's out of a movie. All I remember is my wife staring at me. She screams. I hear this crack, like, unlike anything I've heard before. And as I'm just I'm trying to keep it moving, I felt like I got just smashed in the face. You know, just like a bat, like I didn't see anything coming. It was just a smash and you know it set me back a little bit but like maybe it was a combination of the adrenaline and fear of my family getting hurt and you know just everything happening so fast and I didn't realize a tree <laughs> fell on me and it landed right here and shattered my shoulder crushed my shoulder but I didn't feel it at the moment you know, and it, it, it set me back a step or, or two. I just kept running. It's like, okay, shit's fucking real now. And I just kept moving, kept moving. And uh, my wife, she was holding my daughter, Sunny, and my other daughter, Willow, was on the ground. So uh, without whatever, I just scooped up Willow, carrying her by her shirt and like her arm. And I had, didn't know at the time my shoulder was separated, but you know, when the adrenaline is running and I just, booked it and I had no idea blood is just out of here and my nose is broken. We eventually got into the van. We couldn't even get through to 911. You're in a quarry, so I guess the service isn't that great. We saw someone coming out of a veterinarian hospital or whatever across the street, so we decided to just drive to them. That person drove us to the hospital. Point of this is is every nurse that I spoke to that night told me how lucky I was or so, you know someone loves you up there. And that really started to like, <laughs> I don't know, man, 
but it, it's because of this I am now I have now have no choice but to treat my life differently I've I've taken time for granted we've all heard a hundred times you know we're not promised that tomorrow that's not new advice to any of us but had I been one step backwards like a fucking tree fell on me and I, in a way I can kind of laugh about it now you know like only me something that bizarre yeah the point of all of this is is please do not don't push things off to tomorrow and had I told you something like this three days ago you all could middle finger me out of the room I've been saying next week about the same EP for the past 40 weeks it's strictly out of fear I'm afraid but now it's time to stop being scared because I seriously could have died and this is not going to turn me into some weirdo on some weirdo shit, but like it did kind of flick a switch inside of my head. And I hope I want you all to like do the same, you know, like and don't push things off. If there's someone you haven't spoken to in a while that you love, don't wait until tomorrow. Do it now. If there's a project or anything that you want to do, do it now. Because I can say, take it from me, your life can change in an instant, you know? And now I feel like one of those old uh, NBC, the more you know, bah, 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 bah. It's, I can't, I still am trying to get over the corniness of me doing something. Maybe it's not corny, I don't know. You all mean a lot to me because if it weren't for all of you following my weird journey in my small corner of the world, you're the reason I do it. So I felt I had to put this out and not, you know, put it in a song. I may have taken way longer than I should have. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and cut it down because I feel weird about doing, I've never done this. But please, like, stop wasting time. Because we don't know how much more of it we have. And the last thing anyone is thinking about is having a fucking tree fall. And, you know, if that wasn't a wake-up call and or a sign, I don't know what else could be. I'm not even good at talking like this. I don't know. I'm so sorry. But I'm, I'm grateful to still be here. And I'm grateful to have you all. And you all mean everything to me. I hope this helps somebody. I, I, I sincerely love all of you. And thank you. Yeah, because the more you know.